All right, so welcome back once again. Okay, welcome back to the part two of our discussion. So we finished discussing about um, iron deficiency anemia and anemia due to chronic disease or chronic inflammation. So now let's move on to another type of anemia, which is your sideroblastic anemia. So Sideroblastic anemia is caused by blockage in the protoporphyrin pathway, okay? In the protoporphyrin pathway, resulting in defective hemoglobin synthesis and even iron overload. So kung kanina, mapapansin ninyo, in the iron deficiency anemia, si iron yung kulang. Kaya ang nangyari, naipon si protoporphyrin. Therefore, nag-increase free erythrocyte protoporphyrin sa ating dugo. In this time, okay, okay naman si iron. Walang problema kay iron. Pero ang may problem naman ngayon is yung protoporphyrin pathway natin. What happens here is that excess iron this time accumulates in the mitochondrial region of your immature RBC in the bone marrow and encircles the nucleus and now you can see your ring sideroblast. Okay, your ring Sideroblast, the one on na my pointer, those are called your ring sideroblast. What are sideroblasts to start with? Sideroblasts are nucleated RBC with cytoplasmic iron granules. Okay? Cytoplasmic iron granules. So when we say sideroblast, nucleated RBC precursor. So this meaning to say these are immature RBCs palamang. On the other hand, we also have what we call Siderocytes, okay? So, in siderocytes, excess iron accumulates this time in the mitochondrial region of your mature RBC in the peripheral circulation. And this time, we call them siderocytes. Siderocytes are, are RBC with inclusion bodies called your siderotic, okay? Your siderotic granules, which can be stained, okay? You say, uh, which can be stained using right stain, and now we call the siderotic granules as your Pappenheimer bodies, okay? So, your Pappenheimer bodies are seen in your siderocytes when stained with your right stain, okay? Yung right stain natin. So, what happened in sideroblastic anemia once again? So, what happened in sideroblastic anemia is this one. In sideroblastic anemia, may problema tayo sa production, okay? May problema tayo sa production ng protoporphyrin natin, okay? Ng protoporphyrin natin. In the in sideroblastic anemia, it can actually be due to um it can either be due to um iron um it can either be due to lead poisoning. That's why in um in sideroblastic anemia, nagkaroon tayo ng depo, ng interruption sa heme pathway natin, okay? Sa heme pathway natin. I will be creating a separate video about sideroblastic anemia and porphyria separately so that you guys will be able to identify and understand it better. But for now, I'll just give you a quick background of what sideroblastic anemia is. Again, I want you to remember everyone that in sideroblastic anemia, the hallmark, okay, the hallmark of sideroblastic anemia is actually the hallmark of sideroblastic anemia are this siderocytes and sideroblast. Okay? In sideroblast, okay, you can observe ring sideroblast using pearls, rose, and blue stain. And you can observe siderocytes with your Pappenheimer bodies with your right stain. Okay? With your right stain. So, Moving forward, okay, moving forward, sidero in sideroblastic anemia, okay, in sideroblastic anemia, um, again, iron, there is iron overload, which I will be discussing later on in hereditary hemochromatosis and hemosiderosis. So let us first differentiate the microcytic hypochromic anemias, okay, before we end. So um, as you can see, we have thalassemia, which will be discussed. Um, together with your porphyria, I'll be creating a separate video for that. So thalassemia, we have anemia of chronic disease, iron deficiency anemia, lead poisoning, and sideroblastic anemia. As you can see, um, I want you to um, 
I want you to take a look at the serum iron. So the serum iron are normal to high for lead poisoning and sideroblastic anemia. Why? Kasi nga, ang problem naman, ang problem natin dito this time, meron kang enough iron. Si iron naman yung naipon kasi wala kang him. Unlike in anemia of chronic disease and um, iron deficiency anemia, si iron yung mababa. Okay? Si iron yung mababa at kung titignan nyo yung FEP natin dito, siya naman yung mataas. Okay? Siya naman yung mataas. In sideroblastic anemia, mix yan. It can be high or low and in lead poisoning, it can actually be high. Okay? Later, i-explain natin why in lead poisoning, mataas si FEP. Eh, sir, sabi mo, ang problema natin nasa pathway. Mamaya, I will be explaining to you um, um, why lead poisoning um, causes um, increased FEP and also normal to increase iron. Okay? So, TIBC, I want you to take note of TIBC. Increase siya sa iron deficiency anemia. Okay? Increase siya sa iron deficiency anemia but it is low in anemia of chronic disease. Okay? And also serum ferritin. Okay? So, I want you to take note of this table because it might come out as a case study in your future exams. Okay. Moving forward, let's go to hereditary hemochromatosis. Hereditary hemochromatosis is the most common form of iron overload disease. So iron overload disease, your hereditary hemochromatosis is actually an autosomal recessive disorder that is that causes body to absorb and store too much iron. So remember, 1 to 2 milligrams of iron lang every day ang inaabsorb ng ating katawan. But this time, due to hereditary hemochromatosis, your body has a mutation, okay? Your body has a mutation in the HFE gene which regulates the amount of iron absorbed from the food, okay? Amount of iron absorbed from the food. So what happens if that um, HFG gene is um, impaired, your iron will excessively be reabsorbed inside your body and it can actually be seen um it can actually cause um deposition of iron in your parenchymal cells and if that iron is stored in your parenchymal cells it can actually destroy or it can actually yeah it can actually destroy your organ and what organ are usually affected your liver your heart and even your pancreas so um Manifestation of hereditary hemochromatosis are arthritis, um, liver cirrhosis, liver cirrhosis due to the deposition of iron in your parent in your liver parenchymal cells, congestive heart failure because even in your heart some of your iron are already been stored, impotence. Okay, this is very common in men with hereditary hemochromatosis, um, failure of your uh, failure of men to have penile erection impotence. We also have bronze skin. Sir, bakit po bronze skin? Bronze skin because even in your skin now, your iron has been deposited. So remember your, yung bakal. Yung bakal natin is a type of iron. So, iron deposited in your skin would also cause bronze skin. Okay? Sir, bakit po may diabetes? Remember when say Sir Ganding said that um, deposition of iron in your parenchymal cells, specifically in your liver, in your heart, and in your pancreas. And once that your pancreas has been um, overloaded with iron, your beta cells will also be destroyed alongside with other cells in your, your pancreas, causing now diabetes in your patient. That's why um, in some cases, hereditary hemochromatosis, may tinatawag tayong bronze, dia bronze diabetes or bronze skin diabetes. Okay, because why? They have bronze skin due to iron deposition and they have diabetes. So, uh, they have diabetes secondary to um, hereditary hemochromatosis. And we also have thyroid deficiency. Okay, thyroid deficiency. So as you can see guys, iron, kapag pakalat-kalat lang si iron inside your body, delikado din siya. Maybe some of you thought about it na, to prevent iron deficiency anemia, edi mag-take na lang ako ng maraming iron. No, no, no. You cannot do that because when you overload yourself with iron, it can all it can actually be deposited in other areas or other organs of your body. Therefore, causing now, okay? Therefore, causing now your um, hemochromatosis, um, causing now 
um, the destruction of your parenchymal cells. Eh, sir, paano po kapag wala naman po akong hereditary hemochromatosis? Wala naman po akong hereditary hemochromatosis, but I was overloaded with I was overloaded with iron and not because of mutation. What do we call that on the other hand? We call that hemosiderosis, okay? Hemosiderosis. So remember that there are two types, okay, of iron storage inside your body. Your ferritin, which is the soluble one, and your hemosiderin, which is the insoluble one, okay? Insoluble one. So what happened when iron content in the blood is increased, so meaning to say, nagkaroon ka ng iron overload, okay? Nagkaroon ka ng iron overload. What will happen now is not hemochromatosis because that is hereditary. What happened is hemosiderosis. Hemosiderosis is characterized by little parenchymal cell injury. Between hemosiderosis and hemochromatosis, hemochromatosis is more severe, okay? It's more severe because it can really cause parenchymal cell, parenchymal cell injury causing the destruction of your liver, your heart, and even your par your pancreas, okay? And other organs where iron is deposited. Unlike in hemosiderosis, okay? In hemosiderosis, little lang yung parenchymal cell injury, okay? And um, remember, there are some treatments, okay? There are some treatments for hemosiderosis and also for hemochromatosis, which is number one, avoiding food that contain iron, um, Next is phlebotomy. So what phlebotomy? Phlebotomy, we are extracting blood from the patient to relieve iron overload. So binabawasan natin yung dugo nila para maba, um, alongside with that um, alongside with that phlebo, that specimen are high iron content. So phlebotomy is also a therapy for um, polycythemia vera, polycythemia vera. So um Minsan, okay, some patients with um, hereditary hemochromatosis and even um, polycythemia vera, nag-undergo nag, ano sila, nag sila ng, um, ng blood extraction. Okay? Uh, but this blood cannot be transfused to other people kasi nga abnormal yung mga cells at abnormal yung content ng dugo. Okay? And aside from that, you also have a, a drug called your def desferal or your deferoxamine, okay? your deferoxamine that lowers down iron content in your body. So that is the difference between hereditary hemochromatosis and hemosiderosis, okay? Hemosiderosis, okay? Now let's go to another type of anemia, okay? Another type of anemia, which are your megaloblastic anemia. So what are megaloblastic anemia? Megaloblastic anemias are actually DNR, defect in DNA synthesis that result to abnormal nuclear maturation, okay? So, nu um, abnormal nuclear maturation. RNA synthesis is normal, so cytoplasm is not affected, only your nucleus because this is a DNA defect in your RBC. Asynchronism is observed whereby nucleus matures slower than the cytoplasm. Remember that um, in the differentiation of your cell, diba, uh, mas duma, um, your, your cytoplasm increases in size and your um, nucleus um, becomes smaller as, uh, un until it becomes pycnotic nucleus until it is already gone. But in this time, okay, may asynchronism sila. When we say asynchronism, hindi sabay na nagmamature yung liver, yung nucleus, at yung ating cytoplasm. So usually these are caused by vitamin B12 deficiency or folic acid deficiency, okay? Folic acid deficiency. Aside from that, laboratory laboratory findings could also be one, pancytopenia. When I say pancytopenia, this is the overall decrease in all types of blood cells, be it um, red blood cells, WBC, and even um, thrombocytes or your platelets, all are in all are decreased, decreased bumababa. Okay, they are pancytopenia. Macrocytic normochromic anemia is observed. You can also see here oval macrocytes, okay, oval macrocytes and teardrops or the cryocytes in your, um, in your peripheral blood smear. 
Inclusion bodies can range from Howell Jolly bodies, nucleated RBCs, basophilic stippling. You can also have Pappenheimer bodies and Cabot rings. So uh, I hope all these things were discussed to you in your in the laboratory, um, in the in the in your uh, RBC inclusion bodies. Okay, yung mga anomalies natin. So as you can see, because the DNA is the one defected, all other activities in the cell are also affected. Kaya even other um, inclusion bodies can be observed in megaloblastic anemia. Again, not all the time, but you can see some of these in megaloblastic anemia. So let us go first to the first um, etiology or reason of megaloblastic anemia, which is your vitamin B12 deficiency or cobalamin deficiency. Cobalamin defi uh, vitamin B12 is actually secreted by the parietal cells. Um, your parietal cells secrete intrinsic factor. And this intrinsic factor in return binds to your cobalamin or your vitamin B12 in order to be absorbed in your intestine. Okay? In order to be absorbed in your intestine. So, um, may meron tayong deficiency in vitamin B12, number one, if there is pernicious anemia. Pernicious anemia is caused by a deficiency of that intrinsic factor. That intrinsic factor that binds with B12 for it to be absorbed in your intestine. Okay? So what are the causes of pernicious anemia? Presence of antibody against the the intrinsic factor or the parietal cells that secretes the in, uh, intrinsic factor. So, anong ibig sabihin mo dun, sir? Yung sa pernicious anemia, merong antibody. Antibody that is directed against, number one, your intrinsic factor. Kaya yung intrinsic factor mo, nasisira. Okay? Secondly, um, there are also in um, antibody directed your parietal cells. Parietal cells, nasisirain din yung parietal cells. Therefore, pag nasira si parietal, parietal cells, wala ka nang magpuproduce ng intrinsic factor. So that is what happened in pernicious anemia. So since there is pernicious anemia, there will be vitamin B12 deficiency because there will be no longer intrinsic factor to carry it from the intestine into your bloodstream this time. So this is more prevalent in older adults of English, Irish, Scandinavian descent, descent. Okay? So mas pro, mas prevalent siya sa mga English, Irish and Scandinavian descent. Um in addition to that, it is also characterized by achlorhydia. Okay? Achlorhydia and atrophy of gastric parietal cells. Bakit achlorhydra? So um remember that achlorhydra is the alkaline now, hindi na acidic yung iyong stomach, okay? A state where your um where your um stomach is now alkaline or it now loses its acidity, okay? It loses it loses now its um acidity. So that is achlorhydra, okay? Achlor Achlorhydra, achlor, nalabubulol ako, achlorhydra, okay, achlorhydra. So that is very important for you guys to remember, okay? Achlorhydra, uh, this is, kaya ako nabubulol, sabi ko mali yan eh. Achlorhydra, okay, achlorhydra, it should be hydria. A-C-H-L-O-R-I-H-Y-D-R-I-A, achlorhydra, okay, achlorhydra, Okay, absence now of your um, hydrochloric acid or acidity in your stomach. Okay, so because of that, your vitamin B12 in return will not be, um, will not be, um, will not be, uh, what do you call this? Will not be absorbed. Eh, sir, anong kinalaman niyan ngayon sa megaloblastic anemia? Siguro that's what you're asking. Okay, so remember that vitamin B12, okay, your vitamin B12 is actually coming from your, um, coming from your diet, okay, coming from your diet like your animal proteins and in the meat, and then it will be bound to intrinsic factor, nadadali na intrinsic factor to be, to be absorbed in, um, in your intestine. 
Okay? In return, this cobalamin or vitamin B12 function in the DNA synthesis. Okay? In the DNA synthesis. Bakit? Because this is a very important um, coenzyme. Okay? It is a very important coenzyme in the conversion of your tetrahydrofolate or to become your tetrahydro um, to become your tetrahydro uh, your tetrahydrofolate. So, conversion ng methyl tetrahydrofolate to become your hydro tetrahydrofolate, which is very important in DNA synthesis. Okay? Important siya in your DNA synthesis. So, in addition to pernicious anemia, makikisulat na lang po ako mga kapatid, in addition to uh, pernicious anemia, if you do have the downloaded PowerPoint already, you can see this on the notes, um, alongside with pernicious anemia, Vitamin B12 deficiency can also be caused by gastronec gastro gastrectomy. It can also be caused by defective B12 absorption, blind loop syndrome, Crohn's disease, tropical sprue, and of course, your Diphyllobotrium latum, your B D latum infection, okay? Your D latum infection. I believe right now that the um your diphylo your diphylobotrium um diphylobotrium latum has its new name already which is your dibotriocephalus latus okay your dibotriocephalus latus okay so yun na yung bagong name ni diphylobotrium latum so those um those are causes aside from pernicious anemia that causes vitamin B12 deficiency. So in general, under the umbrella of vitamin B12 deficiency, mandaming different causes. One of them, pernicious anemia, uh, your uh, dibotriocephalus latus infection or your dilatum infection, and also other diseases that, um, that affects the absorption of B12 inside your body. That's why ito rin yung problem. Um, why most of the vegetarian would need to really have a meat substitute because they need to have vitamin B12 which can own which can be found in your meat so napaka important talaga na um may B12 ano tayo may B12 supply tayo kasi if not your DNA synthesis in the in your RBC will be affected. And tignan nyo na lang, di ba? Because of the, that defect in DNA synthesis, there are a lot of things that went wrong in the development of your RBC. So, with regard to the sequence of development, so ito yung nangyari, ayan, so nagkaroon ng decrease in vitamin um, vitamin levels, so nagkaroon ng hypersegmentation with your, R, your neutrophils in the peripheral blood, You there is now a presence of your oval macrocytes in your peripheral blood, there will become a megaloblastosis in your bone marrow. Sure, bakit megaloblastosis? Again, because of the asynchronous um, maturation of your RB, of your nucleus and your cytoplasm and eventually will become now your anemia. Okay? Become now your anemia. Sure, bakit po anemia? Because remember, ang ating pancreas, lahat ay pap, ang, ang pancreas mo, the graveyard of your RBC will all destroy the old the old and senescent RBC, RBC with um, um, abnormalities or inclusion bodies, and of also um, RBC that are um, that are erroneous or um, that are enlarged, like your macrocytes, okay? Like your macrocytes. Laging tatandaan, matanda, mapangit, mataba, papatayin ni pancreas, yung RBC na mapangit, mataba, at ma uh, mapangit, ma, mapangit, matanda, at mataba. Okay? So, in addition to that, when it comes to vitamin B12 deficiency, okay, when it comes to vitamin B12 deficiency, ayan, so we have malabsorption syndromes, your diphylobotrium latum, which is now dibotriocephalus latu, la, latus, okay, Dipyro, dibotriocephalus latus, your gas Trectomy, intestinal blind loops, vegetarian diet. Ayan, yung vegetarian diet kasi wala na silang B12 sources coming from the meat. So, what are the possible symptoms? So, jaundice. Ayan, jaundice 
weakness, sore mouth, like your uh, glossitis. Sa nakita si glossitis. Okay, type it in in the um, type it in sa niyo nakita si glossitis sa okay sa iron deficiency anemia. Correct, very good. So we also have your gastrointestinal disorder, numbness, and CNS problem or your central nervous system problems. So, your megaloblastic anemia, sabi natin, na-settle na natin, it's because of B12 deficiency. Another thing is because of folic acid defici deficiency or your folate deficiency. So, symptoms almost the same with B12 except that there is no CNS involvement. Okay, yun na yun ha. Yun na yung key point natin doon. Parehas sila ang folate deficiency at cobalamin or B12 deficiency are all are all the same except um, in folate deficiency or your folic acid deficiency there is no CNS involvement okay so this is caused by poor diet due to pregnancy kaya nagfo-folate acid nagfo-folate yung mga pregnant women natin kaya chemotherapeutic um, therapy that are anti-folic acid that like your metho Trexate, okay, your methotrexate na chemotherapeutic agent or, or chemotherapeutic drug that is anti-folic acid. Sir, bakit po yung folic acid important again when it comes to um when it comes to when it comes to your DNA? So remember, remember ninyo kanina, di ba, na um, si vitamin B12, papakita ko na lang ulit sa inyo, wait lang. Ito siya. Okay, when it comes to, hindi, wala pala sa PowerPoint, but um, when it comes to your um, folate, remember na si vitamin B12, di ba, it, it is converting your methyl, um, methyl tetrahydrofurate into become folate rather, to become its tetrahydrofolate, okay? Which is very important in DNA synthesis, okay? Eh, very important in DNA synthesis. So meaning to say, kapag wala kang folate, also affected din yung ating DNA synthesis. Okay? DNA synthesis. So, what are the usual um, sources ba ng folate? Ayan, eggs, milk, leafy vegetable, yeast, liver, and fruits. Okay? Liver and your fruit. So, again, vitamin B12 deficiency is the same, is almost the same with folic acid deficiency except that in folic acid deficiency, there is no CNS involvement here. Okay, no CNS involvement. So in folic acid deficiency, so sabi nga natin, it came from your diet. So the body's reserve could last for only three months. Okay, it can only last for three months. And so most common cause of folic deficiency occurs in pregnancy due to increased fetal requirement for folate. So, lagi nga yung sinasabi, di ba? Ang mga buntis, hindi na lang kumakain for themselves but for two um, persons. So, sa nanay at of course, sa baby na dala, -dala niya. And that is very true. Okay? So, in addition to that, everyone, in addition to that, there is also a non-megaloblastic macrocytic anemia. Okay? Non-megaloblastic macrocytic anemia which are seen in two conditions which are, number one, your alcoholism and your liver disease, okay? Liver disease and alcoholism. So meaning to say, walang, walang involvement yung DNA, walang problem, hindi siya megaloblastic, walang megaloblast sa, 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 sa bone marrow. Rather, there are macrocytic um, cells, macrocytic, and macrocytic RBC due to non-megaloblastic um, non-megaloblastic um, etiology such as alcoholism and liver disease. So um, for today, we we actually did discuss iron deficiency anemia, anemia for chronic disease or inflammation. I did um, discuss to you hereditary hemochromatosis and hemosiderosis already, megaloblastic anemia, and an introduction of sideroblastic anemia. So for today, that is the end of our discussion. So thank you so much. So I will be posting all the links for this videos. Also, the notes are already uploaded in your TLC. And at the same time, um, SITWORKS will be coming up for this particular topic. And please, re um, please return to the Google Meet for your questions, which I will be entertaining 
um, before our meeting ends. So th again, thank you so much. So I'll see you guys on our Google Meet. So see you there. Bye.